So you installed shaders, but it doesn't look like this. This is my shaders currently with the settings that I'm running. And as you can see, I'm running the complimentary reimagined shaders. Now, if you saw my video previously, you will have all the mods that I'm using and fully installed and working. Now, these mods do allow you to see extra far, even when you're on a server. As you can see, I'm currently on my server and the render distance for the server is only set to six. However, I can see 50 or even 100 chunks if I set it to that distance. The only downside is you do have to preload those chunks into the client side to be able to see them. However, once you fly through there or even walk through there, you'll be able to see everything that you've got loaded previously, just like we can here. Now, with these settings that I've got, this is exactly how you will get your Minecraft world looking as well. And I'm about to show you exactly how to get it set up like this and all the settings that I'm currently using. And personally, I think the world looks the best on the current time, which is midday. Everything is nice and bright. The shadows are looking good and everything just looks fantastic. Anyway, to get these settings set up, make sure you click O. This will open up your shader pack menu here and then you can go ahead and click on the shader pack settings. This will bring up this section here. As long as you're using the complimentary reimagined as well, you'll have this exactly the same. So on this first page, I have the profile set to high and the visual style set to unbound. I believe when you set up the mod with the default settings, it is started on the reimagined section. However, I do prefer the unbound gives a much nicer and more crispy visual style. Starting in the performance settings, I have the profile on high. That's just default. If you do need to change this, you can. This will change the impact on your performance. If you're not running well, you can change it to potato if you've got a bad computer. High, obviously, I haven't changed this because I didn't think I needed to. This is just a setting I'm running, but you can, of course, just change this and it will select these predefined things down here for you. But I just keep it on high because I think it looks nice just like that. And I don't think it needs any changes from there. If you do have a fantastic computer and you do like the settings you can go ahead and change that to whatever setting you like based on your performance but i'm just going to go ahead and keep it on high next up we've got camera so the color balance i set the general brightness to 1.9 contrast of brighter colors to 1.3 saturation 1.15 white to 2 darker colors 1.2 saturation of paler colors to 1 color grading everything is default so i haven't changed anything here in lighting, the lighting color multipliers, and then the noon, one, 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 sunrise slash sunset, all set to one as well. Nighttime, all set to one. Note of the dimension, all set to one. The end, all set to one as well. And rainy slash snowy, set to one also. Pixelated shadows are off. Dynamic handheld lighting is normal. Edge shadow is one. Shadow light multiplayer is one. Shadow smoothing is very smooth. Cave lighting default, you can change this of course. If you can't see in the caves, you can just make them brighter. Bright is a good setting, allows you to see easier. Let's just keep it on bright. Lock light flickering is off, edge shadow is one. All default except for the cave lighting. Next we have atmosphere. Now this one is important to change a couple things in here. Atmosphere color multipliers. Atmosphere color multipliers, set this to on. Sunrise set and sunset is all one. Night is all one. The nether dimension is all one. Noon time. Now the red is 0.6. The blue is 1.5, the green is 0.9, and atmosphere intensity is 1. Rain snow is default, the end is also default. Now, another important one is the fog. Border fog is on. Atmospheric fog is set to very subtle because if you change this, I'll quickly show you, it makes it a lot harder to see. So as you can see in the background, wait for it to load up. You'll see it changes drastically. It's much, much harder to see. So as you can see, it, it really makes everything look very cloudy. So I like to set this to very subtle. It allows you to see much further, blocks are much more crispy, and I just prefer it on that. And that's how you get the settings to where I have them now. Atmospheric fog, point, uh, 63, and that is it for there. Uh, cave fog is on. You can turn that off if you prefer. You want to see better when you're caving to find those ores a li little bit easier. Clouds, default style. Cloud attitude, altitude, 1.0. 9.2, all of this is default, all of this is default as well. Now, night nebulae, you want this on. Night star amount, you want that on high. Aurora, this is default on full moon, I believe. So you want to change this to every night because you want to see the aurora. It looks amazing. Night brightness, 100. Weather texture, opacity, 100. Next up, we have the materials. Rain puddles on. When it rains, it looks so much nicer. I'll quickly show you exactly what that actually looks like. So if it is raining, you'll be able to see the textures just start to look wet. So as it rains, you'll see even the trees, they start to get like a, a puddle on top of them, start to form on the ground, especially 
This really adds a huge amount of realism. As you can see right here, you can see they're starting to get a little bit glossy to show that there's a puddle. And around the floor as well, you just start seeing puddles everywhere. It really makes the storms look much more realistic. Everything starts to get shiny as if they were actually wet, which is beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. You can see it very clearly here. The puddles are everywhere. Now water default style, water surface, a red multiplier 75, green multiplier 150, blue multiplier 100. Underwater color, red 150, green 150, underwater blue is 100. Water opacity 200, water foam intensity 120, water texture on. Now in other, we've got world outline, world outline on, outline brightness 1.5, thickness one, dark outline off, dark outline thickness one. So that is the shader settings that I've got for the complementary reimagined. And this is exactly how the world looks like with those settings enabled. I do suggest you go ahead and play with a couple of things to find something that you like the most. You can always start with the settings that I've got and then expand on them from there, changing a little bit of the multipliers. It's going to really change how the world looks. Now, of course, shaders just makes the world look amazing. You can see even with the night nebulae, it just changes how the night looks. It makes everything look fantastic. So I highly recommend installing shaders, regardless of if you use my settings or not. You can just use them as a, a starting point and improve on them from there. But it just changes everything and makes the game so much better. Once you play with shaders, it's hard to go back to using the normal default settings, especially when you can see this far. Look how far we can see here. We can see pretty much everything. It makes the game look so much better, so much nicer and much easier to play. Like I can see a village over there. I don't need to go hunting. I can just see it and then fly over there. You can also see one in the distance over there, one in the distance over there. That's like 50 chunks away, but you can still see them, especially in the night. You can see something over there. It just changes everything. It makes the game so much more playable and entertaining. If you haven't got your shaders set up yet or not installed and you need to figure out how to install them, I do have a tutorial which you can click on right now. It's on the screen. Go ahead and watch that. If not, watch it anyway to help me out. It helps so much when you watch another video. When you click on it on the side, it helps the channel out tremendously. If you want to join the server, IP is in the description. Discord is also there, so go ahead and join that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it here, you're amazing, beautiful, and incredible. See you soon.